Hey, what's going on guys? In this video today, I'm gonna to cover a topic that I have not been able to find anywhere else online. And as an iPhone and an iPad user and a Mac user, this one is really, really important. That is integrating your high level calendars with iCal. And so we're gonna dive right into this right now and show you exactly what you need to do to get this set up. The process is fairly simple, but there's a lot of things that you probably wouldn't think about or you would do wrong. So let's dive in and let's go step by step through this whole process. Now, first of all, uh, you need to go into your My Profile. So if you're doing this for a client, um, you need to be logged in as your client or log in with your client to be able to do this. You're gonna go to the iCal calendar settings under integrations here and click connect. Now, the first mistake you're likely gonna make or your client is likely gonna make is that they're gonna put in their iCloud email address and their iCloud password in here. But that is actually, in fact, wrong. Uh, what you need to do is you need to go and get them to log in to the back end using their Apple ID, like so. And you need to make sure that they do two things. First thing is that you need to make sure that they have two-factor authentication turned on. Um, so this is one thing that I had to do with uh, one of my clients who just so happened to be my father. Uh, we had to make sure that two-factor authentication was turned on. So first step there. Second step is to create an app-specific password. And so we can go into here and we're gonna do generate app specific password and you're just gonna name it. Now we call our white label version of high level nurture box. So we're gonna go nurture box email or nurture box calendar like so and hit create. Now they're gonna confirm my password. I'm gonna use my fingerprint here and we're gonna click continue. And now there is the app specific password that we are gonna be using. I'm just gonna copy that app specific password go back over into high level and we're gonna put in the email address here. And then we're gonna use the app specific password that we just copied and we're gonna click connect. Now my iCal is connected to high level and you can go down here and you can configure all of your different calendar events um, with the specific calendar that you wanna connect with. Um, and which calendar you're going to work with. And then you're going to also obviously check your, um, you're going to check your conflicts with other calendars that you may have inside your iCal calendar. So there you go. That's how you set it up. Now, one really, really important thing to note when it comes to iCal integration is that you cannot use event calendars. So let's go over into a calendar structures and show you. So if we go create calendar, the Simple calendar here does not work for iCal integration. You have to use round robins um, where you're assigning the user to the calendar and then you're assigning the calendar itself to the user. So what does that actually look like? Let's go back into my staff and let's take a look at me right here. We're gonna edit this and you're gonna come down here and you need to select a specific calendar that you wanna link this, this particular user to. And then that particular user is linked to their iCal. And so that's how you're gonna, you're gonna do this. So that means that when you go and create a calendar for an iCal integrated calendar, use the round robin function. I believe that class booking and collective booking also works because they use the same structure as the round robin where you're gonna select the user, not the actual calendar that you're integrating with that you would do with a simple calendar. So. When you do iCal, just make sure that you do round robin as the primary calendar for that user and you should be 100% good to go, connected and using iCal integration with high level calendars. So there you go. If you have any questions, you can always leave comments below. And if you found this video helpful or useful, likes, subscribes, you know how it works. It helps everybody see more of this content so that everybody can master to go high level and level up on the platform. And with that being said, we will see you in the next one. Take care.